Allen for most threes all time in a win versus the Blazers last night. Steph Curry had history on his mind. He made six threes shooting from deep on 17 of his 19 attempts. His next shot at the record will be Saturday night against his brother Seth in the 76ers on ETC. The one and only Carter joining us now. Vince, always good to see you. I will start with you, sir. I like the suit, looking clean. Is Steph the player that's going to have the biggest impact on this NBA season? I, I think so. And here, here's why I think so. Because look at the team. And, Stephen, I know you've already said Golden State is probably going to win the championship and yes, for sure are. going to, to yeah. the thing. And, and, and I don't know if you said that prior to seeing them play or not. But I think looking at this team now, and I know a lot of people said, oh, the young guys, they, have, they aren't battle tested. I understand that. But they've been around long enough to understand how things work in the Gold, Gold, uh, Golden State organization. And what Steph Curry is doing right now is unbelievable because all of the attention still goes towards Steph Curry and stopping him. Now, 2015, when he had Durant, when he had Clay playing where they were playing, yes, you understood why open shots were there. Now... It's not the same. You see all the attention. There's a double team there. Three, not a problem. He is playing basketball at a very high level with all the attention on him and to stop him. And they are whatever in four <laughs> right now. Four losses with the, that team right now, it says a lot. He definitely is, it has the bigger impact. Mm. Interesting that you say that. I don't knock you for it, my brother. Good call. Put Vince Carter up on the screen, please, because I want to see him when I say what I'm about to say. Vince Carter, it makes a lot of sense because I believe the Golden State Warriors are going to win the chip. All right, I watched them first week. I said, what the hell was I thinking? Uh, this kid, Jordan Poole, and the way he's playing, Toscano Anderson, Gary Payton the second. I mean, I'm, the list just goes on and on and on. And I'm imagining Klay Thompson coming back along with Wiseman coming back. And I'm saying this brother's won the title with Ja Ja. Even Andrew Jordan. Wiggins. And that, that's right. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know why I keep. Yeah. I should have forget it. Like he's, he's had a good balling. year. He's had yeah. a good year. Mm -hmm. He's balling. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, I wouldn't have gave him away for a bag of cookies because I thought he was entirely too passive. That's not the case anymore. Andrew Wiggins has stepped up. I really respect what I'm seeing from that brother this year. He's doing a damn good job. Can't forget him. Okay, but there's something that you didn't think about, and I'm here to remind you. Remind me. <sighs> Who's the number one team in the East? That would happen to be the Brooklyn Nets at the 17 Nets. and 8, right? That would happen right. to be the Brooklyn mm -hmm. Nets, right? That's without Kyrie. What if he comes back? That would be the biggest impact on the NBA this season. Because if but Kyrie it's a question mark. I understand that. I understand. Well, it's all a question mark. It's all a question mark. We're, I mean, because we, we're looking at guys that are playing, but we understand, again, right, right, I'm, right. Just, I'm just talking about impact. I'm just talking about what mm -hmm. can <laughs> shift everything. We can talk about Milwaukee. We can talk about Miami. One week we're raving about the Nets, and then they go against a team above 500, and we're like, who the hell is this team? We rave about Chicago and Zach Levine and the fact that he's emerging as a star in this league, and then they get bounced last night. All right? Once upon a time, I'm stupidly talking about we here, we here in New York City, and I forgot that Julius Randle and R.J. Barrett refused to use their right hand. one arm bandits. I just forgot about all of that stuff, okay? I'm looking at Miami. Jimmy Butler and these brothers, they might be ready. I'm looking in the West. I'm saying Ka Kawhi Leonard could come back. I could easily use this name. LeBron could stir the Lakers in the right direction. I could easily use that name. I'll roll with you on Steph because I just think, and, and CP3, we can't forget him and what he brings to the table. Yep. But I'm going to roll with you on Steph. The one thing that can change everything, and I mean everything, definitively, if Kyrie Irving comes back this season, all of a sudden, Milwaukee don't look as formidable. Miami don't look as formidable. All right? Philadelphia is irrelevant. Atlanta ain't nobody thinking about them. Yeah, you got to the Eastern Conference Finals last year. You got Vince Carter living in the ATL. You got stuff like that going on, but it ain't going to help them. Okay? Out, out west, you looking at everybody else. If Kyrie comes back and Kyrie James Harden and, and, and KD join forces for a significant chunk of time, that's the one thing that could have us all saying we need to pause and rethink everything we've been saying about everybody else. So you're saying when he comes back, it will be business as usual. Things will go back to normal. Because, no, you know, I feel like they're going to need some time. Sure. Adding Ky Kyrie back and, you know, no, this is all I mean, Vince. feelings. This, this is all I mean, Vince. If Vince sat up here and said, 
Warriors like Stephen A. If Vince yeah, yeah, sat up yeah, and yeah. said, Warriors going to win the chip. If somebody else said, if Will Bond and Jalen Rose was like, can't get, Phoenix going to win it. If, if, if somebody mm. said Milwaukee or Miami, no matter mm. what argument we make anywhere, the one move that could force us all to say, hold on, we Let's need wait to a see. Let's wait a minute. Is Kyrie returning to the Brooklyn Nets? Head case and all. Head case, walking around like he's like he Moses, you know, spread, spreading sage all over the arenas. You got his cane like he's the prophet and all of this other stuff. All of that, throw all of it aside. We know this brother's a superstar. And Kyrie Irving steps on the court with KD and Harden. We have to pause every single argument that's out there in the NBA Right now, there isn't one single argument that won't force us to pause if Kyrie Irving comes back to the Nets. Now, do they become, in your opinion, do they become hands down favorites if we're talking about Nets Warriors in the finals? No, they become they become hands down with, favorite in the East. In the East, East yes. okay. In because when Clay yes. comes back, Wiseman comes back. I feel like I still Wiseman believe in the is, is huge. I still believe in the Warriors. I still believe in the Warriors, but I'm telling you. Kyrie is, the one, Kyrie is the one move. His arrival back to Brooklyn this season is the one move that no matter who you pick, we all got to pull. I thought you would have went Clay. We all got to. No, it's, 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 I, got, I already got the Warriors as favorite. Yeah. I already got the Warriors as yeah, favorite. Because he's my definitely only coming back. back. Yeah, here's my only pushback. Or let, let me say, not pushback, thought. Is, is that I, I feel like when he arrives, when he comes back and he arrives with this team, they still need him to be right. And the, and the I, right mind, because if you're playing against a very good Golden State team that mm. adds Clay Thompson and, and Wiseman, and everybody's playing like they're supposed to play or should play, what we see, uh, he's going to have to be right. It, it, it's not just oh come back and play because you're whatever. Final word here. I give you all of that, Vince. All I'm saying is, it doesn't matter where you it scour the this country or the world. Everything pauses. If Kyrie returns to Brooklyn, we all have to sit back and say, okay, we got to see what's going to happen here. Because the brother okay. is that, even though he's a head case, the brother is that special. And with KD averaging 28, averaging 28 on better than 52% shooting, 37% for three-point range. Harden's having a bad year, looks out of shape. It's averaging 29 and 8. 29 and 8. Nine. And, 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 and that, that's a bad shape. Stephen A., you had a lot to say about Dame's future yesterday. What's your reaction to what you just heard, that we're going to turn it around? I'm not happy about it. Um, <clears throat> uh, as I stated on a few occasions, uh, you know, I spoke to Damian Lillard a few days ago. Um, he has never lied. He has always been honest about what his position is. Um, while we were talking on the phone, uh, you know, he made sure – that he wanted everybody to know he didn't ask for any extension. He wanted everybody to know that um, he didn't ask for an extension, that he supports and is all in on Chauncey Billups. Um, and that, uh, you know, again, would he love to play, for example, with, when the, the rumors about Ben Simmons or whatever, well, his mind, who wouldn't want to play with Ben Simmons? But that doesn't mean that he wants anybody gone, uh, like C.J. McCollum or anybody else. That's one of his best friends. Um, so he just made sure to, to make those statements. Um, and obviously his agent, agent extraordinaire, Aaron Goodwin and the Goodwin brothers, because they know what the hell they're doing. Uh, they're obviously actively involved in all of this as well. But I say this again, I am not happy with what I'm hearing. Damian Lillard needs to leave Portland. Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers ain't going anywhere. And that hurts me to say it. I got a lot of love for Chauncey Billups. I've known him for years. Uh, that's my brother right there. I'm rooting for him. Personally speaking, I don't like him being the coach. I wish that he was the president of basketball operations. That's just me. I look at him and I view him as an executive. Not to say he's not going to do a good job, that he can't coach. I'm not saying that at all. But when I see Scott Brooks on the bench, I think, you know, I'd like to see Scott Brooks on the bench and, and Chauncey Billups running this organization. That's my personal opinion. In the end, you just don't have the personnel. Now, could they go out and... Could they get a couple of...